Cassini has orbited Saturn almost 300 times. Through astonishing images, it's transformed our understanding of this planet, its rings and its moons. It's seen Earth from an epic distance and even opened up new possibilities in the search for life beyond our planet. But after two decades in space, this mission is hours from its end. I think all of us were going to have a great sense of pride in a, a little bit corny perhaps, but mission accomplished. We set out to do something at Saturn, we did it. We did it extremely well and we delivered more and more. And we've left the world informed, but still wondering. So thank you Cassini and farewell. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. Cassini left Earth in 1997 and reached Saturn seven years later. Its first task was to land a spacecraft called Huygens onto Saturn's largest moon, Titan, to see what was under this moon's thick atmosphere. It then traveled on to Saturn itself, where it's been until today. Cassini's sent back almost half a million pictures from Saturn. It's found winds raging across the surface, including this iconic hexagonal storm on the planet's pole. The Huygens lander pierced the orange haze of Titan's atmosphere and found lakes of liquid methane on the moon's surface. Perhaps most significant, Cassini spotted geysers of water erupting from the moon Enceladus. Scientists now wonder if there could be life in the vast oceans under this moon's icy surface. Nobody had realised until then that actually Enceladus was a world with an ocean, like Europa uh, that orbits Jupiter. So that was a real, wow, you know, amazing moment. To avoid the risk of contaminating the moons, Cassini's grand finale will be a deathly dive into Saturn itself. In around 12 hours and travelling at 76,000 miles per hour, it'll burn up in the planet's atmosphere. A shining end to one of the most successful scientific missions ever built. Alok Jha, News at 10.